Now, multiple law enforcement officials tell CBS though, that the decision of the Drajan Reed grand jury could be released as soon as this afternoon. For several months, a special prosecutor, prosecutor has examined the evidence in the deadly police shooting that happened on Indianapolis's north side on May 6. CBS 4's Russ McQuaid has learned a grand jurors have reached a, de a decision. He's live on the Indiana State House steps with more. Russ, what can you tell us here? And a good afternoon to you, Nick. Yes, we're here on the south side steps of the Indiana State House. This is where special prosecutor Rosemary Corey announced in late August that she was seeking a special grand jury to examine the Reed case. And of course, it's literally just feet from the heart of downtown Indianapolis, which was rocked at the end of May by protests that eventually turned into riots in the wake of the Reed killing. IMPD has already stepped up its presence downtown in anticipation of public reaction to the grand jury's decision on whether or not to charge patrolman DeJore Mercer. Officers are riding in cars two by two and taking up positions near Monument Circle. Shop owners are already boarding up windows. Mindful of the more than $7 million in property losses that happened during the big round of protests and riots at the end of May. I've been told that IMPD has refined its tactics since a weekend of rioting at the end of May to better control downtown crowds and respond in a more timely manner. IMPD intelligence personnel are watching social media for people who may not, uh, may not have an interest in demonstrating peacefully. The recent settlement of a federal lawsuit restricts IMPD's use of tear gas to control crowds. But that settlement does not necessarily impact Indiana State Police nor the Indiana National Guard, who will have hundreds of officers and soldiers ready to respond if trouble breaks out and they are expected to secure properties that belong to the state in the downtown area. IMPD also tells me it will be keeping an eye on other parts of the city, whether it's the districts or places like Broad Ripple, if downtown remains peaceful or closed down and protesters or rioters want to go to other parts of town and cause problems. Mayor Joe Hogsett's office told us that in the last few days he has been talking with IMPD about its plans that have changed since last spring when the city spun out of control. And also he has been in touch with local business owners downtown, advising them that they may want to take precautions to keep themselves and their properties safe. Live at the Indiana State House, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News.